Hey everyone, this is Witzer here, so I'm gonna do an altar review. I haven't done this before, but a few people asked me to show my altar. So for the new people, I hope you enjoy this. Also, I wanna do a scout out to a good friend of me who just started a YouTube channel. His YouTube channel name is Ultra Wolf Gaming. I will put his link down below in the information box. Also, you might wanna know, I, pl I started playing this game at 2016 January so I'm gonna show you real fast how my account looked like back then so here we are this is what in 2016 I had 12,000 might so that was it so let's go to the altar review now enjoy I have a druid with 10 of 10 skills 5 of 8 slowdown basically using this for argument his inscription 89 then I have a pumpkin duke with 10 of 10 and 5 of 5 revites, which is useful of course in dungeon and other game modes. He is inscription 100. Then I have a backup pumpkin duke for Archdemon, since we want to attack much faster, so this one is perfect for that. Leveling his inscription up, he's 96 so far. Then I have the Mino for dungeons, he's 10 of 10 with 8 of 8 warguard, which is really good. Inscription is level 100. Using a Cupid, of course, for a lot of game modes. So he's 95 inscription. Then I have my Ares. Right now I'm leveling him up to 10 of 10. So he's 8 of 10 right now with 5 of 5 revite. Also, in the future, I will be making an Ares with 8 of 8 war gods. He's only 89 inscription. It's not too bad. Then we have a Siren, which we also use for Archdemon. Not sure if I will put 8 of 8 Wargod on him or Deadly Strike. I think I will put Wargod on him, but not really decided yet. So he's Inscription 90. Then we have a Dreadrake with 10 of 10, 8 of 8 Wargod, which is cool. And he is Inscription 100. This is my first double evolved hero with 8 of 8 skills. And 10 of 10, so it's a really cool hero, so he's like my first one. So I have a Ghulam, definitely putting him to 10 of 10 once I have the shards for it. 5 of 8 Bulwark, so I will also have to make this 8 of 8 at some point. With 94 Inscription. A Valentina, 10 of 10 skills with 5 of 5 Revite, which is useful for everything. Inscription 90. Beast Tamer for Arc Demon also, 9 of 10 skills, and also need a better War God for this one. Inscription is 86. Then we have a Medusa. I double evolved this Medusa, I think, two or three weeks ago, so she's still brand new for me with a 505 revite and 86 inscription. So then we have Demogorgon, 10 of 10. 8 of 8 War God, which I just did today. So pretty happy with that. Inscription is 90. He's such a beast. Then we have a Trixie. 10 of 10 with 6 of 8. Also have to put this to 8 of 8, but god damn, it's so much fame. So inscription is level 90. As you can see, most of my inscriptions are level 90-ish. So we have a little Nick with 9 of 10 and 8 of 8 War God also. Inscription is 91. Then we have Michael. So 10 of 10 Michael with 5 of 5 revites. I find this useful in Lost Battlefield and such because I don't have a 5 of 5 revite quest set. But I also have a backup Michael as you will see soon. Actually the quest set is 90 also here. Then we have Heartbreaker with 9 of 10. 5 of 8 Bulwark, which I will also change. I'm not sure to what, but I guess also Wargod, since it looks to be the best talent for her. And the crest set is, crest inscription I mean, is 91. Then we have Anubis, the sexy Anubis. He's 10 of 10 with 8 of 8 Wargod, he's a monster. So inscription is 90. So I have a lot of work left with inscriptions, but... We will get there in time. 
and the new hero Ronin with 9 of 10 skills, 5 of 8 scatter. I'm not really sure which talent I will put on him, not decided yet. Maybe I put War God on him, I'm not really sure yet. I don't think scatter is horrible for Lost Battlefield and such, but it's definitely not the best. But it's the best I had so far to put it on him, so just gonna keep it for a while. We have also Skull Knight, which I also double evolved, I think also 3 weeks ago or something, so also leveling him up to 10 of 10 for sure. He's a 5 of 5 Corrode, with inscription only 80. Here we have the Spirit Mage, with 8 of 10. Maybe when the new dungeons come out, I will make, her, will make him or her, I have no idea what it is. I will make him 10 of 10, or her 10 of 10, if we need to do it. And I, I might do it also like 8 of 8 War God, if we need it. Then we have Grimfant, he is 7 of 10, with 5 of 8 Bulwark. I think we have a lot of options on him. Maybe scatter or stone skin, so maybe I'm gonna keep this, I'm not 100% sure. So also gonna level him up really shortly with 8 of 86. Then we have Dead Knight, mainly for our demon with 9 of 10, which has cooldown of 5 seconds. And 4 of 8 War God, which is not the best, but not the worst. Then we have a Warlock. 7 of 10 skills with 5 of 8 war god so this could be a really cool hero to have with 8 of 8 war god double evolved so in a matter of time i will also get him up then we have a deadly strike skull knight with pretty weak skills crest is 80 a medusa which we are gonna have to level up at some point as you can see i'm leveling her skills also up she has 5 of 8 war god, so it's a great talent for her. Then we have Vlad with also 5 of 8 war god. I, I, need, I will need a lot of fame to upgrade these heroes, but we have time. 6 of 10, definitely need to double evolve him also at some point. The same thing goes with 3. Also have to double evolve him and max out his skills for guild wars. 505 Revite, so he auto procs, and 84 Inscription. So then we have Artica, which I evolved and made him 7 of 10 for Lava 3. Not really sure if I'm gonna double evolve him someday. I don't see the point. Maybe if Lava 4 comes out, so we will have to see about that. Then we have Phantom King, also for Lava 3. I'm thinking about double evolving him really soon for Arena and I think I will change this to Scatter when I have a Scatter. I think it's gonna be more e efficient for it. So we have an Atlantic Core, also have to increase his skills with 505 Revites, which is cool that he procs right away. Then we have Lady Leo, just evolved her with 1 of 10, so I haven't really put any work in her. I think I want revites for her, for Lost Battlefield, so the same story, so she procs, she's a monster in Lost Battlefield. Gonna have to work on Maltanica also, 5 of 8 scatter, so most of the talents are not bad. Then we have a backup Demogorgon, which I will also level up and double evolve for Lost Battlefield purpose. So, inscription 80, I'm not gonna show you most any inscriptions anymore because most are 80 from now on. Then we have a Skull Knight with 5 of 5 Enlighten. Maybe I'm gonna double evolve him and I guess put Scatter on him. I do have a backup Scatter Skull Knight so I'm not really sure. Maybe Life Train or something. But first have to double evolve him because Enlighten is a really cool talent to have. Same here with Drag Axe. When I have the time and I want to double evolve him, I might. Haven't really worked on his skills because he's not the best hero as you know. So then we have, I'm just gonna go through this really fast. A Santa with Enlighten, Harpy Queen, which is sad, slow down, not the best. 
This is also not the best. A Revenant. A Champion. A Backup. Ninja. Trixie, which is going to be useful for Lost Battlefield. That's why I put the Revite on her. Then we have a Ninja with Sprint. Voltanica with a useless Life Drain. A Garrot. Ares, which is useless. A Life Drain. Vlad, which is not the bad, not the worst, I think. I don't see the point in Berserk Destroyer, but have to change it somehow. But we have a lot of work left to do before doing something with him. A Dredrake with Bulwark, which is not bad. A Golem with Stone Skin, so in the future I will have to level these guys also up. Snowzilla, Santa, a Dredrake with Stone Skin. An Orcs Bane with Bulwark, also gonna level up this Michael here, as you can see, 5 of 8 tenacity, which is a good talent for him. So then we have, just gonna go really fast, because we don't really want to see like Succubus and such. So we have Valentina, Flame Guard, I've been told it's useful for Guild War defense, but not really 100% sure yet. Then we have a scatter skull knight so i'm probably gonna double evolve this guy and put life drain on the other one so that's basically it then you have some greens and blues seven most of them are seven of ten skills so i need more blue blues and green but since i haven't played this game for a few years i still need a lot of time on these heroes so these are gonna be Actually, these are going to be like 9 of 10 skills, I hope, in a month or two. So, this was it. I hope you enjoyed my altar. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.